This is the Acer CB5 and for 150 bucks, this is easily the cheapest and the best gaming laptop that you can get right now, but it's also a Chromebook. Let's jump right into that. Before you click off the video, hear me out. Chromebooks have some serious advantages when it comes to gaming and for 150 bucks, it's hard to say no at this price point for the speed. At this point, Chrome OS is basically just stock Android and it has a ton of awesome features and is way faster than a ton of machines I've tested and at times it's even faster than something like my Windows PC. Now because it's basically an Android computer, it does come fully stocked with the App Store which has a ton of potential. There are a ton of really high quality and awesome games on the Android App Store right now such as Need for Speed, Brawlhalla, and a few other titles I tested out on here all work flawlessly. But the reason I made this video today isn't to talk about how good of an Android tablet this thing is. I'm here to talk about how good of an emulation machine this is. For $150, this thing is seriously impressive when it comes to emulating great games. I've tested out laptops over the $500 mark that do not emulate games as good as this does. Because this thing is basically stock Android, it's really easy to get a bunch of really high quality emulators and make this thing an emulating machine. I had no problems with all the systems you'd expect, like N64, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, and I even pushed it as far as PlayStation 1. PS1 games are notoriously hard to emulate for some devices, and having them run on here is incredible news. I've also tested a few PSP games and DS games, and they also run flawlessly. If you're looking for a laptop to exclusively emulate games, I think that this is the perfect solution. This offers super high quality emulation on any title you want up to the PlayStation 1, and at that price point, it's hard to beat. Most Android tablets and other devices at $150 cannot get anywhere near this level of performance. And because it's stock Android and because it's Chrome OS, it's gonna be a really fast and really enjoyable experience the whole way through. Now to show off some of the emulation power of this thing, I'm gonna be loading up some PlayStation 1 games and showing you guys a little gameplay sample right now. As some of you might know, Nintendo 64 games are also notoriously hard to emulate well. This thing did also a flawless job emulating Nintendo 64 games. Let's jump into the gameplay right now. Now the final console I was a little bit iffy on, but I'm surprised I got running was the Nintendo DS. Now the DS isn't really that hard of an emulation to get working, however it does take a little bit of time to optimize things on certain devices, however with a good emulator called Drastic, I was able to emulate Nintendo DS games no problem. Moving on from emulation, I want to show you guys just how good this thing is at running AAA Android games.
As you guys can see, I had no problems running a bunch of AAA and really high quality games on here. Now one of the best features I've actually yet to mention is the fact that this thing is a full convertible laptop. It converts completely into a tablet. Because this thing's basically an Android tablet, you can pair a really high quality stylus and makes this thing pretty much a drawing tablet. There are a ton of advantages to having this thing be a convertible. My favorite has to be when I'm playing with a controller, I like to invert the screen like this and have it play like this so I can have the controller coming out and the screen without the keyboard being in the way. But most importantly, this thing is also a great work machine. Running Chrome OS, it runs everything Google perfect. Of course it runs Gmail, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, anything like that flawlessly because it is under the Google ecosystem. And these applications will stay fast and speedy because of the constant support of Chrome OS. As you guys probably know, a lot of schools around the nation right now are implementing Chromebooks to do schoolwork and everyday work. Right now in my school, for example, I do pretty much no paperwork and do everything exclusively on Chrome. If you're a student and you want to play some light games and also get some light things done, I think for $150 this is a great laptop. Overall, for this price point, I don't think you're going to find anything better than this laptop. You're not going to find any decent Windows computers until you start going up into the $300 or $400 range. Once again, if you're looking to do some light gaming and some light productivity, I think that this laptop is a no-brainer. You can find this thing all day for $150 and might be able to find it on sale for as close as $100. At this price point, I think this is the best laptop you can get and you should seriously consider it if you're looking for a really budget friendly laptop. You should also seriously consider subscribing. These videos take a lot of time to make and I will be posting on this channel every week. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support on this channel. It has been incredible to see some of the other videos grow. Thank you guys so much. Any sort of feedback is greatly appreciated and any video ideas at all will definitely be considered in the future. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support once again. See you guys later.